Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Game Night in the North, the TV show that's all about board games, but definitely not a game show. My name's Jason, and I'm excited because today we're going to be playing Point Salad. Point Salad is a new game that's just come out recently, and it's really been catching on. People are loving the game, and I can't wait to introduce it to you, the viewers at home. When the fun is done today, we're going to be voting somebody into the hot seat, where they're going to have to eat a wing that's covered in a really extremely hot hot sauce, Death by Wings from Pepper Palace. This sauce is a really great example of a way to turn up the heat and push yourself to the limits. So let's bring in my panel of guests, and we're going to get this action underway. And we're back. I brought in my panel of guests, and I can't wait for you to meet them today. On my immediate left is Jason Blair. Jason Blair is a good friend of mine who plays card games and board games. Are you ready for another adventure in game night? I'm excited to try this new board game. You've never never played this one before? No. Nope. All right. A newbie for Point Salad. Uh, joining me on my immediate right is Matthew Clayton. Matthew, uh, have you played this game before? Oh, yeah. I've absolutely not played this game before. You've absolutely not played this game That's before? That's correct, yep. Okay, so another newbie for Point Salad. And then joining me at the end of the table, and a spoiler alert, he's the player who taught me how to play this game, Michael Gemmel, once again back here on the show. Michael, I don't need to ask if you played this game. I just need to ask, how do you feel about salad today? I'm hungry, man. You're feeling hungry? I, I'm feeling hungry. Excellent. Which uh, means he wants a wing. <laughs> me, he wants a wing. Well, we'll save that for later in the day. But Michael, uh, since this is a game that you taught me how to play, and I really enjoyed how you taught me, I'm going to defer to you and let you walk us through the basics of how to play Point Salad. This is a easy game, um, and all it is is that we are going to take turns drafting. So you can either, on your turn, draft two vegetables from our little market here, uh, taking them from any row and or column. So I could take an onion and a cabbage, or two tomatoes. And those will get put into my area, my tableau that I'll be creating. The other option, instead of drafting two of the vegetables, is to draft one of the three point cards that are face up. Uh, you can't do both, so it's either get the point card or get the vegetables. Those point cards are going to dictate your strategy. What sort of vegetables are you trying to collect in your salad to get maximum points? And at the end of the game, we will be awarded for all the point cards that work out with our vegetables. So examples of some of the point cards are, in this case, a set of three cabbages will get you eight points. Or for every cabbage, you get one point. For every um, pepper, one point. This is the one that's more interesting, where we can see negative points, meaning that collecting some vegetables is going to do you a disservice. On your turn, you also have one optional move, and that is if you have a previously collected point card, you can flip it over to its vegetable side. So based on the vegetables we collect later in the game, if we realize certain types are hurting us with a point card, we could at least flip that point card over. That's right. And turn or, it into a vegetable. Yes, or we know what the vegetable will be on the other side of the card. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can see it in the, the corners here, then maybe it's going to work better as a vegetable for your other point cards. Fair enough. Um, the game will end when every single one of these cards is gone. All right. And uh, how does it go when you draft cards from here and you take them away? Do you immediately backfill or do you wait till you've taken both cards out? Because so if I grab this one and that one, like... The next player, before the next player goes, they'll have a full market. Okay, yeah. so I only get to go from these six, and then we backfill in the next player drafts. Okay. That's correct. That seems pretty simple. So how do we decide who's going to go first today, Michael? Uh, the last person to have eaten a salad. <laughs> That's not going to be me. Who, who's ate salad recently? Yeah? All right. What sounds kind of good. Salad? What kind of salad was it? Chef salad. Chef salad. That sounds like a fake salad to me. But all right. I'll let you have the honor anyway. Sure. Start us off. Well, looks appetizing. Couple of onions, exciting. And then we backfill, bringing up a carrot and another carrot. Michael, it goes to you, I guess. Goes to me, all right. I'm going to, I like tomatoes. We'll go with tomatoes. All right, we'll replace those. It Ooh. looks like you started a fruit salad. <laughs> well, Do Jason. Do you want to pass me two carrots, please? Ooh, which ones would you like? Uh, the far one? This one down here? Yep. Okay. In the other corner. And this one? Yeah. These two carrots are for you. Thank you. And we'll see what comes up. Uh, interesting. I think for me, I'm going to be different. I'll grab a point card. 
Mm. Just, you know, I don't want to be a follower. Uh, I mean, no, no salad is complete without lettuce. So I'm going to retrieve some lettuce. Very nice. Oh. Yep. Uh, hmm. Let us see what Michael will do now. I'm going to take a point card because that matches my tomatoes very well. Very good. Like this point card. Nice. Well, I like carrots, so I'm going to take a couple carrots. And I am going to add pepper and some more lettuce to my salad. Very good. I'm going to go for the far point card. This one over yeah. here? There you are. I love it. Uh, can you pass me two more carrots? Which ones do you want? Uh, two on the right. These two? Yeah. Okay, there you go. You know what happens when we run out of carts in one of the stacks? So what we'll do is we'll divide the other stacks to make up for that. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, so for me, I think I'm going to go with a carrot and a tomato. I am going to go... more lettuce than onion. I'm going to take another point card. Uh, can you pass me two cabbage, please? Thank you. Uh, tough call. I guess we'll go with a point card. Maybe I'm also going to retrieve a point card at this point. Point cards are all the... Uh, no, I'll, I'll take my peppers. This point card. Tomato. And... Oh, these peppers look tasty. I believe I'm going to retrieve this here points card. I'm going to take tomato and pepper. I'll take the too far lettuce, please. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. Point card. Yep. Um, I am going to take the cabbages. So Michael, in your history of playing this game, what do you find is a more important strategy? Do you find that it's important to get the point cards early, or do you like to just focus on getting a lot of veggies and, and worrying about the points cards later in the game? So I think what's been interesting in playing this game uh, several different times is that there are times that I've gone entirely for vegetables just going, oh, the point cards are going to work out, and then they haven't. Oh, really? Uh, and I haven't come off uh, as well. And then there's other times where I'm like, no, I'll focus on the point cards, and things don't uh, always uh, pan out either, because then you're waiting for the right vegetables, and then you're competing with other people. So it's, it's about being adaptive throughout the game, uh, trying to choose a little bit of each. Interesting. My turn. I'm going to go for the fire point card. Thank you. This point card. Mm. So that point card closest to us is now uh, five points per veggie type that you have with at least three. Mm -hmm. Which is That's interesting. Mm -hmm. so we appear to be roughly halfway through the game, maybe just slightly more. We're yeah. getting quick. This is this is how quick this game is. Yeah, it plays absolutely. nice. Yeah, and it's fast. nice. It's great cuz a lot of games take a little bit of time to play and this one yeah, I could see you fitting in in a quick game while dinner's getting made for example or whatever. Great filler game while you're waiting for the group to get there. Great, yeah. you know. Um,
And sometimes it's just great to play a night full of these uh, games. Yeah, for a variety. I don't think anyone wants onions. Mm. <laughs> uh, can you pass me two carrots, please? Now, the war becomes all onions. Do we have to do anything about that, or do we just... <laughs> someone will Someone cries. Have to That's all. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, someone cries. Whose turn <clears throat> is it? Uh, I believe it's me. It is. I was yeah. just looking to see if I needed onions. And as it is, I don't at the moment. Oh, do I want <laughs> that? Oh, do I want that? Oh. I think the middle one would serve you better. Yeah, I think... Oh. So I don't think you even have any onions, but you do have tomatoes. The thing is, though, other people have onions. I don't know if I want to leave it for them. Right? Oh, fair, fair, fair enough. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, by other people, you literally need me. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll take that okay. one. I wasn't going to take it anyway. Now, clear out some onions for you guys. I'm a kind and generous onion eater. There we go. I should be taking this. Take a cabbage and a pepper, please. Thank you. Now, would we want to move cards over to make yeah, a new so third? Yeah, so just make a new stack. Perfect. Looks like that works out just about perfect. And you did your turn? Yep. So I'm going to grab two onions. Should I slide one over? Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's pretty simple to keep track of. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a good one for you. Yep. I will take these. We're down to the end. We are. Yeah. Take a cabbage and a lettuce, please. You got it. So these two point cards now come out. Oh, that's true. They flip down. So now we're just choosing our veggies. Yep. Well, I guess I'll take an onion, and I think I'll take a carrot. I believe I'm going to take a... I think that's my best option. All right. And now we simply add up points. And uh, that is the game. Cool. Yeah. So we'll, we'll take a minute here to look at each of our goals that on our point cards that we've collected. We'll do some quick math, and we'll be right back to tell you who's the winner and who's not the winner in Point Salad. We'll be right back. And we're back. We took a second to count out the scores, but then we looked at the clock, and we realized nobody's in a hurry to leave, and the game goes really quick, and we're having a lot of fun. So we agreed we're going to play a second round of Point Salad, and then we're going to do a total score and see who's the winner and who's the loser. So, uh, Jason, I think we'll give you the honor of starting off the second round. Thank you. Uh, what would you like to do for your first play? Uh, I'm going to take a point card. Oh, Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, I'm just going to collect some shiny red tomatoes over here. Mm -hmm. A couple of those. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, I think, add an onion and a carrot to my non-existent salad. Well, now it exists. It does now. It has an onion and a carrot in it. That's right. Carrots. Take a lettuce and tomato. Yeah, first two. First two. Thank you. Well, I mean, that just looks really convenient. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. Point card it is. I think I might. I think I might do a point card as well. I think that'll be. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll, I care about it a lot. I'll take a cabbage and a pepper. I'll take a tomato and a pepper. I 
think I'm going to take a carrot and onion. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go carrot and tomato. I'll take an onion and a tomato. First. First row? Yeah. Thank you. Point card for me. Let me get rid of some of that lettuce. Carrot and tomato. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> sure, yeah, absolutely. You don't have a point yet. Point card yet, do you? No, yeah. I, I definitely don't have a point yet. Hmm. Uh, point card, I guess. I think I'm going to go with a lettuce and onion. Hmm. Whee! <laughs> hey, look, a point card. <laughs> Finally. I'll take yeah. two peppers, please. You got it. Thanks. Hmm. I think I'll take a carrot and a pepper. I think it'll be wise of me to choose this at this point. Ooh, you didn't even want to flip Look the cards over. No. Yes, please. I don't like all my salads shaping up. I'll take a couple of lettuce. Ah, add some some foliage in there. Mm. A little greenery. What do you normally put in your salads? Who are you asking? Anyone. Chocolate cake. Nice. <laughs> I prefer a uh, a root vegetable salad. Deep fried? Uh, preferably, yes, with a, it uh, could be a mushroom reduction uh, as the dressing, uh, and of course a little bit of no, cheese in there as well. It's a, it's a poutine. A poutine, oh. yeah. Yeah, I was totally with you on that. That's my favorite <laughs> salad too. It's a Canadian salad. That's right. Uh, oh my goodness, how am I so bad at this game? I know, it's because I never eat my veggies. Um, <laughs> Couple of lettuce, I guess. I think I'm gonna acquire that point card. Interesting. Seems like a good choice for you. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Hope that will turn out. Take a lettuce and a pepper. Uh, the closest one. Thank you. Troublemaker. I guess I'll take this one. Hmm. I think I'm going to acquire myself some Take these. Somebody likes carrots. Yeah. Must have bad teeth. <laughs> I thought it was vision. Isn't carrots for your eyes? Both. Both. Got this point card. I don't like onions. Stop giving me onions. Peppers. Peppers will take. So just to remind everyone, you can flip point cards if they're going to be advantageous to you. Yeah. That 
So this moves over? Yeah. I'm going to flip this. And you also That's get to draft. Action. That's the bonus action. Yep. yep. You still get to draft. You can still get to draft. Two peppers, please. Thank you. Uh, that's disappointing. into there. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, you and I believe you. Okay, I take two onions. Thank you. Guess what you get? Can I flip another? Yep. Thank you. All right. Nice. Salads created. Yep. I'm eating onion, cabbage, carrot, and tomato. Sounds like a bit of a coleslaw. I think mine's a salad. <laughs> yeah, you did well. I don't recognize any of these things. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a second. We'll be right back after we add up the score, and we'll tell you who's the big winner and who's not the big winner in Point Salad. We'll be right back. And we're back. We've added up our scores, and we're ready to share our thoughts with you and our scores with you. So uh, basically, when I added up my scores for the two games, I'm going to go ahead and let you know, guys, that I wound up with a grand total of 64 points, and I don't feel very confident that I'm going to be winning the game with that score. Jason, what was your score? Uh, combined total, yeah. 89. 89, so he's well ahead of me. Matt, what was your combined score? 113. 113, yeah. okay, that's really impressive. And Michael, what was your uh, score? 148. 148? Yeah. Okay, wow, so congratulations to Michael. You. Clearly came out first, and I clearly came out last in points. Uh, now that we, we've talked about that, we'll cover up what we thought about the game, and then we'll get to voting later, because ah, what's the hurry, right? So uh, as far as points out it goes, my first impression, I give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, basically, the reasons I'm not super impressed is just because it's a card game. There's nothing really super impressive about that for me. I'm more of a, a meeples kind of board game lover. Uh, for Ease to Learn, it's a 9 out of 10. It's one of the easiest games you could pick up and play. It's very visual, very simple. If you can do basic math, you're good to go. Quality of the game, I give it an 8 out of 10, just because it's basically a deck of cards. There's nothing really to go one way or the other with it. But the two categories that I think matter the most today are overall fun to play. For me, is a 9 out of 10. It's a really fun, simple game. So high praise for that. And likely to recommend is also a 9 out of 10 for me just because it's a simple, fun, easy to pick up game that like any ages can play. So yep. that's where I fall on, on those categories. Jason, what was your thoughts on Point Solid? Uh, first impression, I gave it a seven. Uh, ease to learn, definitely a 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, quality, I gave it a seven, just the same as what you said, card game. Yep. Uh, overall fun to play, gave it a seven. Likely recommend eight, so a total of 39. Right on. Uh, first impression, really similar, uh, eight. Uh, out of the box, it was a, it's a card game. It's exactly what you expect. I wasn't disappointed yeah. opening it up. Uh, Ease to Learn, it was a 9. Again, same thing that has been said already. Pretty well anybody can play this game. Uh, even if you aren't kind of you know, the best at math, you can still kind of figure out uh, what objects you need to grab if you want to make a salad. Yeah. Uh, quality, 8. It's a card game. The cards are cards, and I feel like cards. Yep. Uh, overall, fun to play. I gave it a 7. Uh, it was very enjoyable, if maybe a little quick. Um, likely to recommend absolutely a 9. Fantastic game. Lots of fun. And a 41 out of 50. And Michael, what were your thoughts? Um, first impression, 7. You know, it's, uh, doesn't, it's not eye-catching with the theme. I mean, nice colors, but like, is it really going to be that great a game? So, 7, you know. Uh, um, uh, easy to learn. 10 out of 10. This game is taught so quickly and you're into gameplay so fast. Easy, easy, easy. Quality of the pieces, four. And the only reason why I go with four is because that's the size of the deck. 
great cards, mm -hmm. but why does it have to come in such a big box? A beautiful little tuck box is all you need. Sure. And it makes it more portable than everything else. Yeah. So I'm just uh, nitpicking that way because of the, some of the ways the industry is, you know, with big boxes. Let's make it for what the clonants really are. So that's the only reason. I think that's good feedback, for sure. Uh, overall fun to play, nine. Oh, yeah, it's a great game every time. Uh, and then would I recommend 10 out of 10? It's been one of the big uh, recommendations for me as a filler game. Uh, giving me a final score of 40 out of 50. Right on. So we're all right in that ballpark, 39, 42, 41, 40. Uh, very consi it's a very consistent opinion between us. We all like mm -hmm. the game a lot. And I think the most important category for all of us is likely to recommend it. We're all very likely to recommend it. Absolutely. So uh, now that we've established who won and who lost and what we thought about the game, let's take a moment and talk about who, who do we think should be sitting in the hot seat today. I think based on um, the score, uh, Michael's probably earned the right to go first on his vote. Uh, and let your voice be heard, sir. Um, my vote today uh, is, oh, so much tough, pressure. Tough call, right? I yeah. get to go first and um, for having the lowest score, Jason. Sure. Yeah, I can accept that. Uh, Matthew, would you like to vote? Absolutely, yeah. I'm going to uh, take a very, very similar approach to this in that I believe that score is, is the thing that matters here. Um, however, I'm going to vote for Michael for having the highest score. Oh. Um, clearly, he knew what he was doing going into this with a couple of newbies and a guy he taught one time, maybe wrong based on your score at the end of the game. Oh, yes, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Um, so I, I'm going to have to vote for Michael. I was waiting for the chocolate cake power up. It never showed up. I don't know what he taught me, but it made no sense. Yeah. So, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Promo card chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's interesting. So, for me, Ah. Uh, well, Jason will be next, too, uh, with his score. Oh, okay. Are we going in order of points? Yeah. yeah, please feel free, Jason. Go uh, ahead and vote. I'm not actually going to choose Michael for the high score. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so I could make it a... Uh, wait. You can't. You it's, can't. It's two for... You can't vote for yourself. But who did, who did you vote for? You. you. Oh, that's right. There's so it's kind no, of... It's a done deal. There's no getting out of this. It's a done deal, yeah. I'll, I'll vote just for giggles. <laughs> I'll vote for Jason because he's beside me, just for the official record. But, oh, gosh darn it, my vote doesn't really matter. So uh, we're going to take a minute and we're going to get set up. We're going to shine that hot seat up all nice and get it nice and comfy. And we'll be back in a minute with Michael getting ready to enjoy some delicious heat right here on Game Night in the North. <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're back. We've got Michael in the hot seat here. We've got a... Hot wing covered in death by wing sauce from Pepper Palace, which is one of their hotter ones. And I had a lot of fun playing the game today. Uh, Michael, is there anything you want to say before you eat the wing? Because uh, you may not feel like talking after. Uh, well, this is definitely not salad anymore. Yeah, we're, we're out of the salad zone. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Uh, well, feel free to dive into that whenever you're ready. All right. I'm just going to gleefully watch from the sidelines. I enjoyed that game. Uh, even though I did bad at it, it was fun. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a really fun game. Um, if would I you had, take it camping? I would definitely take it camping, yeah. Okay. Uh, if I had, you know, nieces, nephews in, oh. in the, like, four to eight range, I think it would be a really, really fun game for them to, to play. <coughs> That's hotter than I thought it was going to be. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, did, I did mention kind of between uh, that, that it's, quite, it's quite hot, yeah. Yeah. But at least it doesn't have the, like, that chemical -y make you sick feeling. Like, it's all natural. So. Correct, yeah. Now, this is, because we didn't talk about Scovilles on this one, this is about 2 to 2.5 million Scovilles. Oh, is that all? Around 2 to 2.5 million? Correct. So, I mean, it's only one third of the end, approximately. Right. Uh, but it, it's certainly a very hot sauce. Yeah, it's like it's hotter than anything mm -hmm. people would normally ever encounter in lives, unless it's like <laughs> Certainly, yes. Uh, not, not recommended for, you know, just joyous intake, unless you really enjoy hot, hot <laughs> sauce. <laughs> you look like you're ready for you a whole pound of those. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm not going back. <laughs> you're not going back? <laughs> this is Michael's <laughs> final performance. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Well, the, uh, the cast uh, ready for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, it was a pleasure. I, I enjoyed the game. 
And thank you to Michael for teaching it to me a while ago. And thank you, uh, Michael, for coming out today and, and participating and being a good sport and sitting in the hot seat. <laughs> Jason, thanks for coming out and playing again today. Matthew, it's always a pleasure. Thank always. you, buddy. And to you, the viewers at home, thanks for tuning in once again. And we'll see you here next time on Game Night in the North. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, well. Keep the uh, I bet I. What? I asked for a lot of sausage. You, see, you did. Sausage. Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah I love mm. it. He specifically asked Matt to like coat it with a lot of sauce. So yeah. He, he got the full full Monty of Death by Wings. Matt says I haven't tried it yet. I think okay. I have, but if I haven't, I'm gonna try it.